coming up in this video, a shopping trip to Liberty of London, the most beautiful department store in our city. Welcome to my channel guys, I'm Hannah, so lovely to have you here. I hope you enjoy this video, if you do, give it that little thumbs up love and of course, please take a moment to subscribe too. Hi guys, just passing the Charing Cross station here and the Queen Eleanor Memorial Cross which was actually um, erected as an, a replica. So the original was put up by Edward I of England, I believe. So yeah, this is the Eleanor Cross. Now just passing Trafalgar Square, which was obviously designed to commemorate the British victory against the French and the Spanish fleet in the Battle of Trafalgar and the large Nelson column which is taking centre stage of the square with the lions at the foot of the column and of course it also houses the National Gallery. Now just passing by the large statue of the Duke of York from 1834 you can see it there it sort of stands at the top of the staircase going down to the mall which then leads you to Buckingham Palace Hi guys, I'm in Reven Street. I'm going to go to Carnaby Street and I thought we'd make a little trip to Liberty because I have not been there since Christmas. So it would be good to see what's new. And also, it is the most beautiful department store in London. So we should have a look around. We've got Burberry. Let's see if we can see anything. I don't think I'm going to go in there. But let's have a look. So if we've got anything in the windows. New totes maybe. Yeah, they're definitely promoting these totes, what we think of them. Yeah, it's quite a big store, so if you are a fan of Burberry's, this is the one to come to. You see, it stretches all the way on this block. Yeah, let's just do a little detour because this little side street and this particular area, it's a bit of a little hidden gem if you're in London and you you fancy a bite to eat or a drink even. It is called Heaven Street and I'll switch the camera around so you can see what I'm talking about. Right, so we've got some restaurants here. Uh, this one, the Piccolino, is quite nice. It's an Italian restaurant. Then we've got this uh, Tokyo. I haven't been there, but you know, it looks quite fun. With these noodles doing their thing. Ramen, if you like Japanese. And let's see. Oh, some of my favourites are closed. Oh no. Yeah, it's hard times, isn't it? This restaurant here used to be one of my favourites called Momo's oh well so but let's just have a look here see can you see that sign 
Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie. Right, so things are changing here like everywhere else. Restaurants and hospitality is not having a great time. This place, Casa de Franco. Yeah, I haven't been there. It's a Portuguese restaurant. Could be a good one. Another favorite restaurant was there. It's no longer there. But it's a little quiet corner. So I would say Hedden Street Kitchen is a great place to go. That's a Gordon Ramsay restaurant and Piccolino. So this is Kingly Street, which is right next to Carnaby Street. And at the very end of this road, you can see Liberty. So we'll have a look around this area, guys. Here we go guys, Kingly Court, another little hidden gem, situated between Carnaby Street and Kingly Street, lots of lovely little restaurants and places to have a little drink, a pit stop from shopping perhaps. As you come out of Kingly Court, you will see on Broadwick Street the spirit of Soho mural. And the mural depicts St. Anne residing over local notables. Her skirt and petticoats show the map of Soho with craftsmen and London landmarks. And framed underneath are portraits of Soho's many famous figures. It is a lovely piece of art and great fun too. Martin, stuff Martins. So here we are in Carnaby Street, the birthplace of swinging London back in the 60s, where the mods, the skinheads and the punks and the new romantics, I was one of the new romantics in fact, um, where all of those came together and yeah Carnaby Street is a great place to visit and I would say probably a must visit when you come to London just have a stroll around there's quirky little shops and we are obviously headed for Liberty which is at the end of the road just passing Shakespeare's head pub it was built in 1735 and up there in the window you can see Shakespeare gazing down on the busy street below. If you're enjoying this video, please give it a bit of thumbs up love and take a moment to subscribe too, it would mean the world to me. Standing opposite Liberties, you can see how the building actually spans from Carnaby Street on my left to Kingley Street on my right. So that's the little round um, trip that we've just done together. And now faced with this beautiful department store. The architecture of Liberties is mock Tudor style and almost 150 years old, you guys. Just love the flower store just at the entrance of Liberty, so pretty. Right, let's
let's head inside guys and see what's new. Let's have a look at what handbags they have on display. This pouch gives me distinctive Bottega vibes, but at a much more affordable price point. Could this JW Anderson Raffia tote be the one for me? Are you also getting a little bit of Celine vibe from these APC bags? I think they are very similar, but certainly a very different price point. Loving the colours of this tote, you guys, from Isabel Marant. A little bit of Stella McCartney and these crocheted Falabella bags. Yeah, loving the colours, very bright and fun. What do you guys think? And I stumbled on this handbag, which was half priced almost. It was 660 and down to 350. Quite a good bargain. Another raffia tote option from Chloe. I like the leather detail and the closing on this one. Quite a nice basket. Loewe puzzle bag in the mini in this beautiful lilac. So cute. Liberties, of course, is famous for their textile prints and they have translated these onto their handbags. They've got a really lovely range at some good price points. I like the totes in particular. There are some really lovely colours. And if you're in the market for a lovely silk scarf, Liberties is the place. They've got some beautiful designs.
Liberties is truly a unique department store. So beautiful, you guys. What do you think? If you're enjoying this video, please give it some thumbs up, love, and take a bit of time to hit that subscribe button. It would mean the absolute world to me. Thank you so much, you guys. Liberties also have a fabulous home department with anything that you could think of for your house or a lovely gift for someone. You can always rely on liberties to find something a little bit quirky. And if you just want a little slice of liberties to take home, why not opt for one of these lovely mugs created by Emma Bridgewater. They also had some items on sale when I was there. But yeah, I think they're super lovely. And Emma Bridgewater pottery is so nice. And I made a little purchase for our home. And as I was leaving Liberties, I stumbled across this colourful illustrated map. Old style, absolutely stunning. Really loved it. Great fun. And then I was headed for a little bit of dinner with a friend, walking through Newburgh Street, which also has some lovely little shops. Again, I would really recommend to do just a little detour. It is just off Carnaby Street and worth a visit. Dinner was at Andrew Edmonds in Soho, a lovely little restaurant which I recommend. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed my little trip to Liberties, Carnaby Street in Soho. Did anything catch your eye? If you enjoyed this video, please give it that thumbs up love and take a moment to subscribe too. See you in my next video guys.